Previously on The Way We Did It, we took our truck camper to explore the incredible sights of Grand Valley, Colorado. We are now going to one of our favorite places in the country, Grand Teton National Park. There are countless reasons why we love living in Colorado, but I think our favorite one is being just a day's drive away from this. Grand Teton National Park is why we moved out west. Like for many people, it holds nostalgic memories. For us, it's what started our obsession with national parks. This is why we picked it to meet up with Dave's family, who have been living on the road themselves. Now, let's go check out the campground, our meetup spot for the trip. It smells like I remember. Does it smell like the Tetons? <laughs> We were staying at the Coulter Bay RV Park. It's part of a much larger campground with over 300 sites. But this section in particular offers full RV hookups. Right through there, you can see a Teton. <laughs> the Teton right through that The campground was located right off of Jackson Lake, close to all the amenities of Coulter Bay Village, like a grocery store connected to a gift shop, visitor center, a restaurant, and access to the marina, where we were surprised to find it completely empty. Due to extreme drought conditions at the time, its water was being diverted to meet the irrigation needs of downstream reservoirs. This was only the fourth time in history that the lake levels were so low it closed the bay, and it was definitely an odd sight to see. Since this wasn't our first time to the Tetons, we were straying away from the main attractions to try something new. We thought, why hike around the lake when we could paddleboard across it? String Lake is a calm, shallow lake that is perfect for beginners wanting to get out on the water. But Dave and I weren't stopping here. We decided to take the Portage Trail over to Lee Lake. This secluded lake is only accessible by foot or watercraft. We were immediately taken aback by the vastness and deep blue color of Lee Lake. Paddling beneath the Tetons, getting to see the park from a different perspective was just incredible. Having fun? Oh yeah. We stopped to eat lunch at a nearby beach, 
and heard the last sound we wanted to hear. We felt the wind pick up as a storm was developing right over String Lake in the distance. So we quickly tethered our boards together and booked it out of there. By the time we were back on String Lake, it had started to rain. We were so focused on getting out of the water that we paddled right past a brown bear. We just happened to look back after hearing park rangers scaring it away from the picnic area. We returned to the campground safe and sound and made our usual dinner. We're having some tacos. What else? What else would we be eating? Tacos. tacos. That's it. <laughs> we love tacos. Yeah. yeah. Tacos burritos. and disc golf. Like right. always. <laughs> Our usual. We then spent the rest of the evening at Jackson Lake watching the storm disappear off in the distance. When Dave's parents and brother arrived, we decided to do a family hike to Taggart Lake. Over the course of one and a half miles, the trail took us through aspen groves, crossed log bridges over Taggart Creek, meandered through thick vegetation, sprinkled with wildflowers, and cut through a forest of lodgepole pines. Got it. <laughs> All while our view of the Tetons kept getting better and better. up to their full reveal at the shoreline of Taggart Lake. It's fun, isn't it? Here we go. Tetons. We had so much fun paddle boarding that we set out to do it again. And we thought what better place than the park's iconic Oxbow Bend. A ranger told us about this great access point to the Snake River just south of the bend. So we pumped up our boards and launched. And this time, Dave's mom was joining in on our adventure. After turning off the main river, the water branched out into narrow winding channels. Here, the water was fairly calm with a few currents to push through.
We definitely had to work for our view, but as you can see, it was totally worth it. Look at that! <laughs> we made it. We've only seen this view from the overlook off the main highway. So to think we were now in someone's photo in one of the most beautiful places in the park was pretty cool. Once we returned to our launching point, Dave's family left for camp to start on dinner while we stuck around a little longer to fish the Snake River. But we weren't the only ones that discovered this great fishing spot. A bald eagle had suddenly appeared circling overhead. Bald eagle thing! <laughs> He's gonna steal your fish. So we decided to let it catch its dinner and return to camp to have ours. It's no secret that Signal Mountain is a great place to watch the sunset. So that's exactly what we did on our last night together with Dave's family. But not before this happened. The end of the rainbow! Oh my god! Oh my god, if there was a grizzly bear there. It's so intense! Grab it. I have never seen anything like that. Wow. We all managed to calm back down and arrive to the top of Signal Mountain just in time for an incredible sunset. It was the perfect way to end the trip. That is, until seeing the sunrise the next morning. Next time on The Way We Did It, we take our truck camper to Badlands National Park. Just descending slowly. <laughs> If you'd like to join us on more adventures, be sure to like this video and click that subscribe button. And consider joining our Patreon for extra perks like travel guides, bloopers, and digital photographs.
It helps to support our channel so we can continue to show you the way we did it.